Hello everyone, Monty here, and today I'm gonna make a bottom round roast. I have a lot of projects around the house I'm gonna do this afternoon, but what I love about this is I can throw it in to my crock pot and not worry about it. I always make a joke. It's like, set it and forget it, like that commercial years ago. So, what I did first is I took a two and a half, a 2.3 uh, pound piece of eye of round. So eye of round, top sirloin, bottom round are very lean and very low in calories. But I also, I cut off most of the fat. There was some fat on the bottom. I still left a little bit of fat, as you can see, but I cut them probably, this is probably two pounds now. I probably cut like a little bit over a quarter pound of fat off because I don't like a lot of fat, but I left a little bit on for flavor. So I, you know, I used to years ago cut all the fat off, but now I leave a little bit on for flavor, right? So what I do is I am gonna show you, let me move my, crock pot so those of you a lot of you've been asking me to do this video on how I do my beef because in the crock pot because I um, put the beef in my beef tacos my soft tacos I made several dishes with it I did the beef quesadillas and the George Foreman quesadilla maker which was unbelievable and I used this beef and I also had like a lot of times you don't see my snacks during the day because it just it's, I post so much already and I work so many hours but I'll just like take a piece of the beef that's like maybe four ounces and I'll eat it on a plate while I'm at my desk. That'll be a snack, so it's all protein because I'm trying to build more muscle again and um, very low in calories. Those types of beef that I've told you about, very, very low in calories, just as low as calories as chicken. That's what I love about it too. So um, this is my crock pot. It was 90, $99 I think at Target. It's the eight quart, the big one, right? People ask me all these detailed questions. <laughs> so I try to answer them so people don't ask me again, right? Um, different people ask me the question. So I take the two pound bottom, uh, eye, eye of round, right? It's eye of round. And I put it in there. And then I took like two thirds of a red onion and I chopped it and I just put it in as well. This is so easy. Wait till you see this. You're not gonna believe how easy this is. So easy. And then I took four cloves of garlic. I chopped that up. I like using fresh as much as possible. And I really wanted to put tarragon in. I never cooked with tarragon and I made one of these like eye round or bottom rounds with tarragon. It was absolutely delicious, but I couldn't find it today. So um, then, um, I have a can of, usually I put two cans of tomato sauce in, but I've got these diced tomatoes. I, I always buy the Muir Glen products, whether it's diced tomatoes or tomato sauce, because it's all organic, no sugar, it's just like, um, you know, tomatoes and sea salt, that's it. And I love their products. So one can of the diced tomatoes, and then I'm gonna do a can of the, of the Muir Glen tomato sauce. Now what I find is, is that you wanna cover the entire piece of meat with liquid, or it won't get that like disintegration kind of effect after the four hours. So right now it's pretty close, but I'm gonna put a little bit of chicken stock um, in addition to all of that, just enough to make sure that the water line is totally covering, and it'll add more flavor too, totally. And people say, well, why didn't you use beef stock with beef? Because I don't have beef stock, right? So if I did, I probably would put the beef stock in. And you could put vegetable stock in. It's just to give it a little more flavor other than water, right? So there we go there. So now we get to have, you wanna make sure you cover it totally with the um, fluid so that it's totally covered. And now I'm gonna put in some sea salt. I like using crushed red pepper because I like everything with a little spice. I also read that spices help kick your, uh, kickstart your metabolism. Just gotta love that. Again, I would have loved to have tarragon, but I also love doing um, uh, thyme. So what I do is I kind of just rub my hand along the sticks and get the little, I don't like putting all the sticks in, I like it. I mean, I end up getting some of the sticks, but I try to get all the little leaves. And the smell of, oh, I love the smell of thyme. And the taste with meat, especially with pork, it's just really good. Beef or pork, I love. For some reason, I'm not that crazy about it with the chicken, but I love it. Chicken, I love rosemary. Um, also, guys, you know, um, fresh herbs are very high in antioxidants. We always talk about um, foods that heal and you know, you know, uh, let thy medicine, food be thy medicine and thy medicine be thy food. Um, herbs are very high in antioxidants, very, very, very high. People forget about herbs when you're cooking. See, and I just take the stem and I just pull back and the leaves come right off. And then I just kind of pull off whatever little leaves didn't come off. And I just do this and 
Last time I forgot to do a video to show you what it looked like at the end, so I won't forget this time. And I'm just gonna do a little bit more. Um, love, 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 fine. It's all right, I say fine, it's time. Remember that, the graduate, parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. Yeah, I'm not a singer. It's one, I do a lot of things well, singing's not one of them. <laughs> so anyway, um, I'm almost done here. Just wanna put a little bit more. And then we're ready to go. Okay, guys, so that is it. That simple. That's why I love this, right? So then what I do is I take my uh, these little arrows, you line the arrows up with the unlock. You snap it. And then you get it lined up and twist it to lock it. You make sure that there's a little valve at the top here for pressure, like pressure cooking or open. I always do the close so it just stays in. Then you hit slow cook. It defaults to four hours. Almost every meat that I cook, I cook. I do Debbie's pot of chicken in here too. I do it um, slow cook for four hours. I'm gonna do some errands. So, um, yeah, and errands. I'm gonna be doing some house projects. I'm actually painting the letters on my house today and I'm cleaning the, I just cleaned all the cushions in my sectional on my porch and on the chaise lounges, but now I have to scrub all the chaise lounges. They're like totally black. They were white chaise lounges, so I gotta scrub them all clean. So while that's doing this, I'll be cooking and I'm going to my neighbor's house but this should be done right before I go to my neighbor's and um, then I can just let it cool and put it away. Um, but if not, I just let it go to warm mode and it can sit for a couple more hours on warm mode and be fine. So what I did is I put it for four hours. A slow cook is four hours and you can go up or down if you want to. I would never go down. You may want to go higher, another five hour, hours if it's a big piece of meat, but this is good. And then we're just gonna hit the start button. And it's that simple. I would say, you set it, forget it. I can go do all my stuff. I can run to the store. I can do my house projects, come back. I'll take a shower, get ready for my party, and then we'll be done. So I wanna talk about that too. So um, my party I'm going to tonight is just my neighbors. And um, you know, I, I didn't wanna like make something so healthy that maybe people wouldn't like. So I did bring, and, I, and I'm on vacation, so I didn't wanna cook a lot. So I, did, I bought a beautiful fruit tart at Whole Foods. And it's, it's pretty, as desserts go, it's pretty low in calories. It's pretty much all natural. Um, absolutely, I'll post some pictures. Drop dead gorgeous dessert. Always is a big hit. It was actually on sale this week, so it was very reasonable. I didn't know that when I ordered it. Now you can order it and then go pick it up like I did. Absolutely beautiful. And I'm gonna cut up some watermelon and I'm gonna cut little heart shapes in it and I'm gonna sprinkle it with cinnamon. I'm sure most of these people never had watermelon with cinnamon. It's delicious, great summer fruit. Um, we're gonna be out by the pool, um, so it'll be really nice, refreshing, and that'll be, I'll probably eat that, leave a little tiny piece of the fruit tart, I know, me, believe it or not, even with a little bit of sugar. But at all desserts go, that's probably the least worst one. Anyway, I digress. When this comes out of the oven, I will show you guys what it looked like, and that's it. So I hope you enjoyed watching how easy this was to make, and I will be turning the camera back on when it's all done to show you what it looked like. Okay guys, it's been four hours, and the bottom round roast, or higher round roast, I forget which one it was, is ready, and I'm gonna take it out and show you what it looks like. Uh, this thing is just giving me a little bit of trouble. Oh. There we go. Okay. So I let it cool. I first popped the little thing that um, allows you to get let the steam out and let it sit for about 20 minutes and cool down a little bit because it's still really hot. So the beef was cooked in that tomato sauce, a little bit of chicken stock, totally submersed, which makes it really moist. I'm gonna move this out of the way so you can see. And here we are. So this is like a two pound roast. And it really will just fall apart when I start slicing it. And I use it like shredded beef for the tacos. You see, it's just, it's just really shredding. I can still get some pieces out of it, but most of it is just shredding. And oh, it's just so moist, so delicious. And there you go, guys. You can see little pieces are falling off. Oh my God, so good. So what I do is I take them and I put it in a little container. And then what I also will do is I'll um, take it and let it marinate back in the, in the sauce to keep it really moist. 
and it'll stay in the refrigerator for over a week. I have a piece still left up a week ago that I had a little piece last night. It was delicious. So anyway, that's how to make, and I'll shred it for my, my soft tacos, for the um, quesadillas. I eat a piece just by itself, like these whole pieces. I'll probably just heat up a piece for a snack. It's a good low calorie. The bottom round and the eye round roast, which is all I buy usually, very low in calories. Um, you can look it up on the, uh, uh, I don't have it memorized, but on the um, calorie counter, like lose it or something like that. So and I hope you guys enjoyed how to make, uh, watching how to make the bottom round roast in the slow cooker. Again, it was great. I went out and I did all my stuff in the yard. I painted my letters on my house, Debbie's letters on her house. I cleaned my lawn chairs. I did a whole bunch of other stuff. Came back and it was on the warm mode. Opened it up, took it out. And now I'm heading over to my neighbors for a little wine and dinner out on their back patio. Hope you all having a great 4th of July.